hello everyone and welcome back to darling tv so today as you can see by the title i'm here to talk about Shein. if you don't know what Shein is y'all should know what Shein is it's a clothing site that i think is based in china or something like that um but they basically like affordable you know cute clothes on there da, da, da. i got the app and everything so let me tell y'all about my experience with Shein. i've honestly never had um a bad experience with them before this experience but this experience was like the icing on a cake type of thing so i ordered some clothes and uh i wanted to give you guys a haul i was expecting those clothes by march 19th which is what like they said okay your stuff will be here in between march 15th and march 19th so i'm like okay cool i figured out that me and my friends you know da, 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 we had set up a trip to go to las vegas these clothes was not for specifically for that trip but i was like i can definitely wear most of these clothes on that trip so i was like okay boom this works perfectly so the 19th come and i'm looking at my tracking information and it's literally i'm gonna tell you exactly what it said it said march it was telling me i'm gonna put it on the screen it was telling me march 8th and then it said in transit united states arrived at local courier how do you even say that facility so it you know obviously it was there on march 8th but it i guess it did not move from there from march 8th to march 19th i don't know what the problem was um i had contacted she in and they was basically they was basically told me to con contact usps because that's who they uh do their shipping through so i'm like okay i contact usps and i called them and they talk about some oh the label was created but we never got the package from them so when i go on usps and actually put in the tracking number that she and gave me it says that it says on march whatever that um electronically da, da, da. basically the label was created but i guess they didn't give them the package i don't know what's up with she and um this was the like my bad experience with them i don't know what's going on but also with my pretty little thing package it was a delay on that and but honestly my pretty little thing package is somewhat giving me updates a little bit my Shein package was not giving me updates at all so i'm like what's going on here like at that point i want a refund so i asked for my refund um because i told them that i contacted usps and they told me that y'all didn't even give them the package so i'm confused as to why y'all telling me to go you know contact them when y'all didn't even give them the package like why you why are you making me go in circle yeah i contacted she and i emailed them because she and does not have a a phone number i don't know why i think i guess that's because out of the country uh wholesalers that they don't have a phone number but they have an email and they email back usually within 24 hours but their customer service is still bad like on their at first i was talking to the quote-unquote agent that's on their she in app but the agent literally gives you literally keeps telling you like the same thing over and over again and then you have options of what questions to ask basically so i'm like okay so these are automated messages and i'm trying to ask you real, something real specific you're not giving me the answer i had emailed um a different email i guess for she and and they finally contacted me back and told me that they was gonna give me you know a refund or whatever so because i told them i was under the impression that it was gonna get here on march 19th and i can't even blame you know usps for the delay because usps has not even gotten a package so I understand that you know some mail carriers is having delays right now because of covid but you haven't even given the package to them and you had an ample amount of time to do that so i'm confused and then it's like my friends had ordered from Shein as well and they got their packages i don't know if because it was because of my package was just so much bigger than their packages that they was just like oh put it to the side or like what's going on or if it got to go through some type of something that i don't know about because it's such a big big package i don't know but i feel as though that she should have said like hey you know um we did give you an estimated delivery date of this of this day but there is going to be a delay for your package to get to usps like that simple communication would have told me like okay well i obviously need to do something else to figure out what i'm gonna be wearing on vacation because yeah at that point i wouldn't have asked for a refund i would have known that my items were coming but 
it like felt like my items was just never going to get here for real. Like they just took my money. Like, and I was real confused. And US USPS contacted me this morning and told me, you know, they they told me again, you know, they didn't receive the item from them. The label was created that I should just call them and ask about it. But I told them that I had already asked them for a refund. Also, so when I had asked for the refund, my order specifically was $378 and I think 10 cents. So when I asked for the refund, I had told them, okay, they said, um, thank you for your response. We do apologize for the inconvenience. Um, since there is no update from the shipping company, we may offer you a reshipment or refund. That's what I'm confused about. You're saying there's no update from the shipping company, but you never gave them my clothes, like what's really what's really going on here what what's the real tea is the shipping company company lying to me do i not know like did, did she actually give them my clothes did they steal my clothes like what's going on and then it says um if you want a refund da, 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 you can get one basically to your she in wallet which i wasn't going to do or um you know back to your card and i chose back to my card they said okay thank you for the confirmation we're already re we've already refunded you the order uh the order to your original payment account of $375.11 normally it takes 10 to 18 days for the refund to be settled to your account so when i had seen that i was like huh because i was like hold on y'all not about to try to steal my three dollars from me like excuse me like what am i paying y'all for what is it three dollars for i want that in my account like you know what i can do with three dollars like come on now don't don't try to skip me out of my three dollars i i see it right there i ordered and it said 378.10 and now y'all saying y'all gonna refund me 375.11 so i was real confused about that i was real confused about that but i was just like okay thank you but then literally like minutes later for real I realized I was like 375 like what is she talk what are they talking about and then I told them like my original order was 378 and they was like they're, they're gonna look into it basically da, 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 da. so they said thank you so much for contacting us I have checked and confirmed that you use an amount of two dollars and ninety nine cents to buy a coupon on our site please be advised that the money that you use to purchase a code will not be included in your refund but no worries the code will be added on your account and was val and will be valid until April 30th 2021 you may use the code to oh shit i didn't know about this but it say it said that you may use the code to um you may use the code to avail 20 percent discount for your orders over 55 dollars so that's actually a good little um a good little deal i'm probably gonna try to order something again from Shein just to see if like this is a continuous thing with me or if it's like okay that just happened it happened because i've ordered stuff from Shein before and i've liked the clothes y'all seen my Shein hauls I, well i did one Shein haul before and everything was good that's why i'm like what's going on this time but okay so that had happened and then basically like she was like i can't get the money for the coupon back or something something, something. but i was like i'm confused because i, I like I didn't I don't think I had read that I just read that with y'all so I was confused and I was still like but y'all took three hundred and seventy eight dollars and ten cents out of my account so I sent her a screenshot of my account and then I also look in the same day the same day she and took eleven dollars and thirty four cents out of my account and it says uh, uh service assessment fee and I'm like what is that like I'm confused because you know you already pay for the clothes usually you know shipping is included in the clothes so it's, it's usually one price then that gets deducted out of your account not a whole nother second price that's getting deducted out of your account like what is that type shit um so yeah when i first had ordered the clothes i wanted to do express shipping like i was eligible for express shipping because i had so much stuff but when i went to check out it was grayed out so i couldn't even like choose that or i couldn't even like pay for it if i wanted to like it was grayed out completely like i could not do express i had to do standard so i was like okay as long as it's getting here by the 19th then i'm gonna be cool Boop, bada bang we're gonna be good we're gonna be gucci that's it up but it did not get here by the 19th plus they charged me another 11 dollars 34 cents for i don't know what i don't know what an international service assessment fee is and i'm wondering if everybody else gets this fee as well like what what is it um but yeah I'm, i sent them that email and you know they never replied back i'm going to 
email them again about the eleven dollars because I'm like at this point y'all just taking money from me. Like I'm confused. First I buy a coupon that I don't know that I obviously can't get a refund for. Like what? Like what? I'm confused. But yeah, that I don't know. That's the truth right now. I don't I don't know. Like what's really the tea? Like, what's really the tea? What are y'all doing? I know y'all getting popped <laughs> because bitches want to look cute. Bitches want to go to Las Vegas rep as Shein, but <laughs> my package never came. But, yeah, I wanted to tell y'all my experience with Shein. Um, comment down below, y'all, you guys' experience and if it was different from mine, I guess. Um, if you ever had a bad experience with them. I'm not sponsored by them, so I don't know if, like, you know, some companies kind of treat their, uh, the people that they sponsor a little different from... You know, just regular customers. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a whole lot, a whole lot of me just talking, talking, talking. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And com what? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below. You know your experience with Shein, just so I can know. Like, am I the only one here? Am I the only one? Let me know if I'm the only, only one and y'all shit is just fine. Peaches and cream. Like, y'all get y'all shit all the time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Darling TV is...